Well, hello everyone. You tuned into a handful of blessings. I'm Kim Eleven Fourteen. Um, this is the nail design we're going to be working on today. It's really, really simple um, to do. Uh, first off, I don't know if you can tell, but I have like some skeleton leaf uh, on on the tip of my nails, and then I filled in the rest with red nail polish. So, uh, first off, let me show you the skeleton leaves that I purchased. Uh, they come in a package like this. As you can see how many colors you get. I ordered them off eBay. I don't remember the seller's name. But if you do a search for uh, skeleton leaf nail art, you'll find them. And this is uh, the package that they come in. You can see how many colors is in there. I ordered two packages. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I paid like $2 or something. 2 or $3 for it. For each package. And I'm going to show you what one of them looks like. This is what one looks like. And they're all different sizes in here. And I ordered the small uh, skeleton leaves. They have another package that has larger leaves in it that you can order as well. So this is what one looks like. It's really, really thin as you can see. And it's, it kind of reminds you of just regular lace that you put on your nails. But this is a lot thinner. And these are the different colors that they come in. They have pink and orange and white, raw blue, dark purple, um, lime green, or... Uh, kind of like a teal blue uh, there's brown there's black I mean yellow it's a lot of different colors that's in the package so that's what they look like uh, this is the one that I'm using I'm using the red and this is a piece of the red that I've used already so I'm going to use the rest of this on my thumb so I'm just going to kind of get an idea of how I want to lay it on my thumb I, and each one is laid differently I didn't lay all of them the exact same way. It doesn't really matter. But since I have a crack that I repaired on this side of my nail, I want to put the skeleton leaf going slantways on top of it. So I'll probably turn it uh, this way. Like that. And I just want to estimate and kind of trim off a little piece of it. And I'll probably have to trim more after I apply it over because it's going to be laying over the edges of my nail probably. So I'm just going to trim off. And it's extremely easy to cut as, as well. It's really, really easy to, to cut. So this is a little piece that I cut off. I'm not going to use all of this, but this is the piece I'm going to start off with. And I'll just trim it down um, as I go. So I'll probably, let's see. I probably apply it this way going at a slant and you can use clear nail polish you can use uh, nail glue to apply it it's up to you um, I decided to use brush on nail glue because it dries faster now using nail glue is gonna be a little bit harder to get off but it's not gonna be extremely hard uh, just use some acetone nail polish remover, and it'll, it'll come off so I probably do a video when I get ready to take them off I probably um, do it just like I did the glitter just apply um, some little cotton swabs with um, acetone on it and lay it on my hand and wrap it in aluminum foil let it soak for a while that's probably the way I remove it so I'm just gonna lay it at a slant like that and I'm gonna use a plastic bag this is just a plastic ziplock bag to um, hold on one second I moved it Okay, and I'm going to use a plastic uh, bag just to press it down and hold it down until it dries. Because I want it to be flat on my nails. If you was, had, um, if you were putting an overlay on your nails, um, you would probably still have to hold it down until it gets flat and then put the overlay on top of it. And I'll probably have to add a little more glue around the edges just to make sure it's, it's holding down really, really well. So right now I'm just going to hold it down until it gets dry. As you can see how it is now. And I'll, I'll have to add a little more glue after I trim off the excess. So, um, 
I find that I use scissors and finger and a fingernail clipper to uh, trim off the edges. Both of them work pretty well. So right now I'm going to trim off the excess it's as close as I can to my nail without cutting my nail. Like I said, it's really, really easy to cut. Really easily cut. As you can see, some of it is still lifted on my nail. So I'm just going to apply some more nail glue up under it. And I should be able to get it to lay flat this time. And I'm going to take my plastic bag again and just hold it down until it gets dry. As you can see, that it's laying pretty flat now. And there's a little piece that's sticking up right here. I'm just going to take my fingernail clippers and clip off the thread that's sticking up. Okay, so next I'm going to take... Um, you can see it's laying pretty flat to my nail now. I'm going to take a layer of sesh bite and apply it just on the tip of it, on top of it. So I applied a, uh, a layer of sesh bite on top of it because I probably have to apply about two to three coats of it maybe. Because I want my nails to be smooth on top as you can see. Since my nails are natural I have to apply uh, a couple of layers of top coat to get that smooth uh, effect on top of my nails um if you had <coughs> excuse me if you were putting on an overlay on top of your nails um you wouldn't have to do this it, it would automatically smooth out but since my nails are natural um i have to apply a couple of layers of sesh right on top of it just to get this smooth effect that i want so while it's drying um i'm going to take some red nail polish and fill in the top area of my nail and the red nail polish that i'm using is the same one that i use on my toes um, like I said, I don't think this company even exists anymore because I've had this nail polish so long. But the name of it is uh, is by Avalon Nail Hardening. Nail Hardener. That's the, the type of uh, nail polish it is. Avalon. And the color is number 37 Rojo. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to fill in the the rest of my nail, the top area of my nail. So what I'm going to do now is let the red dry and then I'll apply probably one or two more coats of Sesh Vite over my nail until it's smooth on top. And then I'll be back. Okay, so you, you can see it's pretty smooth on top now. So next I'm going to take some white nail polish and my dotting tool. I'm going to go out some white nail polish on a sheet of paper. And I'm going to be using my dotting tool. This is a dotting tool, that, the size that I'm using. It's really, really tiny. So afterwards, I'm going to let this dry the dots dry completely and then I'll apply another layer of my top coat on and the top coat that I'm using I've said before this is the top coat that I always use uh, Sesh Bite so now I'm going to apply um, 
another layer of sage right on top of the dots since they're dry now. And that is basically it for the nail design. Um, I'm going to let it dry completely. And I might apply one more co coat on later, way, way later on this week. So I hope you like the nail design. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.